All right, fellas, we're back with another podcast episode. We're out here in California, baby. Hollywood, we're getting a special guest on the podcast now, the pasta man, pasta bitch, a.k.a. It's QCP, also known as John Luca. I don't know what the fuck his last name is, but we got pasta guy coming on. It's QCP for another episode, talking about his come up, his, I don't know, whatever he's got going on in life. Make sure you guys are rocking the merch as always. This gen sucks. DukeGomez.com. Bunch of new merch on the site. Make sure you're rocking it. Make sure you're repping it. If you post it on your Instagram story, make sure you tag me so I can repost it. I love seeing all you guys wear all the merch. Um, Let's get into this episode, baby. All right, fellas. We're back with another episode of Duke It Out. We got another special guest. This ain't no Gordon Ramsay. This ain't no fucking uh, Rachel Ray. A little bit of better than both, I would think. I don't know yet. I haven't tried the guy's fucking food. But we got QCP in the fucking house. What up? And I actually know your first name, John, John Luca. John Luca. Right? Thanks for saying that right. Not butchering it like What's everyone your, else in America. What's the QCP though for? It's 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 pretty fucking stupid. That's for sure. How did it how did it come about? <sighs> so, I feel like you told me this, but I don't remember. Bro, I used to be a rapper in high school. Oh, SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually. Yeah. <laughs> really? Bro, but people actually rock with my shit. I can tell you that. Like, I performed at my prom in junior and senior year of high school. Everybody knew the lyrics. Everybody rocked with my music. So I was, Q- I was QCP as a, as a rapper in high school. No. Because Charlotte... <laughs> so where I'm from, Charlotte, North Carolina, is considered the... It's called the Queen City. Queen City. And then P was... It, it came from a nickname that I had. Yes. My name's John Luca. The nickname I had in elementary school was Puka. So people called me Puka. P, bunch of fucking bullshit. Always yeah. bullshit with nicknames. Because my name was John Luca. Nobody wanted to say it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so QCP. One of my boys came up with it. I was like, I kind of liked the way it looked when I wrote it out. I was like, it looked cool. Uh, stuck with it. Then just kind of like said, fuck it. You know, That's I was trying to promote my music when I made it to rapper. TikTok. I was you're a gonna, fucking rapper. You're going to bring that back? Yo, why don't my you shit add bumps. your fucking songs to your I videos? can, but it's like, yeah, fuck that. Then Keep things focused, think. you know. That's the most important thing in all and everything is like, yeah, focus on one thing. When that shit's working too well, like then you can move on to the yeah. next. Yo, so how did that how did that how did that happen when I met you that day? Because I didn't know that I was gonna The meet day you. that I met you, that was one of the fucking most random, funniest yeah. times of I've ever I've ever experienced. Cause Tony, two turn Tony, yeah. visited LA. The guy had his girl, ski mask girl, who doesn't work with anymore. Was that his chick? I don't know, but but either way, like she was working for him, you know. They yeah. were they were working together. She drove his ducks from Michigan to LA in a van, in a truck. She drove his fucking ducks. And we made a video like with his duck in his kitchen yeah. in the in the apartment oh, or Airbnb yeah, that he rented. That. Yeah, so he yeah. got like an Airbnb or whatever. And uh he threw a fucking rooftop party at the apartment that he rented, which you can't fucking do. Like, oh, obviously, that. you yeah. can't just throw a party in the a rooftop of, of an yeah, Airbnb yeah. or whatever of a building. Like, That's, yeah, it's open for the residents to go have a drink and maybe grill and go in the pool. We were loud. He invited, like, 30 of us. So that's when I met you there. And it was fucking stupid. Yeah, because I went hilarious. there. I went there with no plans. I went to stay with Harry. Oh, yeah. Because I, like, I, I literally had... <laughs> wait, the, wait, wait. Harry... Raftus. <laughs> yeah. Remember him? <laughs> Yeah, fuck you, Harry. You don't even answer my text, fuck boy. Piece of shit. Hey, I love right. that kid. He was no, so cool. No, but he he's he is the biggest douchebag ever. It's really hard to be. He's the truly the biggest douchebag ever. Who which Harry? Is pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, D bag city. Which uh, is pretty, I respect it because it's hard to be that big of a douche. <laughs> like in the least disrespectful to it. Like the cool. He's probably. Cool. I felt bad. I stayed cool. with him over in Orange County. I was like, damn, I love this dude. And then I started like, then I started like. Uh, he moved out to Miami, and I was like, I was going to Miami. I was, to like, Miami. Yo. Damn. I was like, damn, I'd love to have you on the pod. Just never answer. I was like, all right, I'll just go it's fuck right. myself. But yeah, no, it's I came, right. I came here, and I was like, I knew, I saw that he followed me on shit. What pass. was your first impression? Like when you came to LA, like what'd you go through? Like what'd you, what you experience? Dude, I was, was it I don't, stupid? I didn't know who was a guy. Well, you didn't do much. Who is? Well, I didn't know. I had no plan. I just didn't. Yeah, I just yeah, went yeah. in, and I was like, yo, I need a place to stay. I had no bread. Like I was like, bro, yeah. like I'll chill at your yeah. place. And then two. T- oh, so I, you did stay with you stayed with Harry. I stayed with him for and like fucking, four or five days. Minutes, huh? He had some yeah. chicks rolling in and out in that joint. That's some probably hotties. true. Yeah, some hotties, he, he had every girl in the world on his back. Yeah, which bro. Is pretty he crazy. Was like, guys bag like, or not, girls like douchebags, man. No, girls like assholes. I think that's what it is. You gotta have a good balance, man. Yeah, that's a you really, gotta be a respectful really asshole. You gotta I be a respectful everybody. asshole. Yes. For me, I'm hesitant. Some girl says something stupid, I snap. Ooh. You know what I mean? It's like you put that bitch in her place, shove a pasta down her throat. 
Little linguini. Don't bite me, you know? <laughs> little like, linguini. Don't fucking bite me. No, nah, that's fine. No, nah, but then you. I remember I, 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 was, I hit up two turn. I was like, yo, let's do something. He answered me right away. And then we went to that thing. And that was a, that was mayhem, bro. It was bro. a mess. It was a mess. I remember what you were wearing. You had some. You had some Probably the goofiest shit you've, you've ever you, seen You dressed ever. like a dick. Yeah. I remember that shit. You had some. You had a baggy shirt and some baggy pants. You looked like you belonged in like the fucking I 70s. wear the same shit. Still? Now? Probably. All right, you know well, what? it depends. If we're going to Two Turn Tony's rooftop party, I'm not wearing shit. Nah. And then, but in general, you're from the Northeast. Yeah, I'm from North Carolina, like East Coast. Everyone in North Carolina wears the same shit. I'm sure the same shit in Jersey. Yeah. That everybody just wears fucking polos when they go out or just like a random t-shirt, some khaki pants or yep. some or whatever. I love khakis, bro. I mean, it's it's a You know go-to. why I like these? There's 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 a, an amazing amount of ballroom. I'm a big ballroom kind of guy. Bro, how does it affect you when you when your shit's tight? Like does do you get fucked up from it? Dude, I have to open up my zipper to release air in my fucking yeah. pants cuz I feel like my nuts What about are just- underwear? Are you like super specific with yes, it? Yes, I my Me underwear too. has Me to too. be like down to the knee. I like long underwear. Is that yeah. weird? Is yeah. that a little No, sun? no, I, I I've got You wear tighty whities like a Hell dick? No, fuck no, bro. The second <laughs> if, if that shit's tight on my waist, I snap. If that, <laughs> that shit touches my sack, I snap. Gotta let it breathe, bro. Keep your testosterone nice and I th- yo, I thought you lived out in uh were you living in New York City? Never. You never lived so in New York. So biggest city. misconception, people think I'm from New York because I talk like this in the videos. Oh yeah, you got the fake accent like me. Yeah. We both have fake ass Italian accents. Yeah. At I least think- no, but at least you you still have like a natural Jersey accent. Yeah. And then for me, like if I'm getting aggressive, like I'll sound like I'm from Jersey or yeah. New York. And like, but the difference is people don't understand, like, people why would you not bro. it's you gotta like we're trying to entertain. You know what I mean? Like that, that accents the accents are are more entertaining it's more unrealistic yes. like who the fuck is this guy like why is he talking what the fuck you said something about where, when you go live and people like tweak out that you're speaking normal this guy's on coke live. i'm like dude i'm just being entertaining i'm trying yeah. to have some fucking energy here like i'm not on coke yeah but you know what's crazy with me though it's weird though like after after like really faking it for like like not faking it to a sense cuz i do have a little bit of an accent but like really dragging it i, yeah. I catch myself like even talking normal that i'm like yeah that Douchebag. Like I'm like, bro. Damn, when I my edit character. my videos, you cringe. I won't I, look at a single I podcast. Make, I, I make. destroy my. I, I'm like, fuck you. When I watch the video, wow, when, I, when I'm editing my videos, bro. Way. I go, you fucking dick. Literally, and then I go, <laughs> I go, shut the. I, I'll go. I'll say. I'll audibly say, shut the fuck up yeah. to myself in my while I'm editing. If if I if I say something a little too loud, or if I go like like, next you want to put some salt in there, right? And then I go. Cut that shit and just say put in like just some salt. Yeah. Like I don't got you don't gotta say that much. I'm not like, like, you're editing. Down. You are you edit all your I shit? Edit. I edit my shit and you're fucking good. You're editing. Bro, I've been editing deep. for a minute and like uh, I just started editing on the computer like f- a week ago. I don't right? have I patience for it, bro. I edit on the phone, but uh, I used to. But now I'm editing on the computer. But bro, you're shit. fucking blowing up on YouTube. Yeah, bro, you're good. almost at right 10 now, mil. On Instagram? No, on YouTube. You do have like five. Oh, five, five million? Five something, yeah. I thought it said seven. Even five? No, I can't even yeah. get to 20,000. Yeah. Inst- but you've been posting there for a minute, no? Yeah, but in, uh, YouTube's got a very specific... They want to see specific things. Yeah. You got to go look at the algorithm. Like, you're not going to get a lot of like views from podcast clips and stuff. They want to see some really specific shit. Like, I'll go on there and see if I see any pussy or anything and like there's nothing. <laughs> and then like there'll be one girl. I saw one girl like, like doing like, uh, like dressing up and shit. Yeah. And I'm just like... She got lucky as fuck. Like she, she broke the algorithm. Like that's what shorty. But everything else, bags. YouTube Shorts is all guns. It's the craziest yeah. shit ever. They got guns, cooking, and like skits, and like that's it. Bro, my shit Instagram is like a lot food. of food. Yeah. Uh, porn. Yo, do you think? Let me ask you this because I, I have, I, I've always wanted to ask this someone that does like food videos like you do. Yeah. Do you think that? Like Instagram and like all these accounts, like purposely push like food accounts. Well, you make food content, but do you, know, I'm talking about the people that make like the reviews of like going to places and eating food. Yeah, I purposely yeah, yeah, think yeah, yeah. like these social these social accounts push that type of content for people like that that Nick Anaconda, whatever the, that fucking fat guy, is, whatever his name is. You know that dude that kept oh eating? avocado or whatever avocado dude. Yeah, like I I think they're pers- purposely pushing the thing so that people are getting fucking f- turning the whales. I'm serious. 
Maybe I don't fucking know. I, I think I see these I, food reviews like, oh, let me review like this whopper from Big Mac. The government Mac. like funds Instagram to like blast out food reviews and shit to like get people fat. I don't. I mean, you never know, bro. You never know. I also That's, don't uh, think pigeons in New York City are real. Pigeons? No, no, no. Hell no. No shot. New York is fucked. Oh, nice. New York, but in the Absolutely. best, it's, it's amazing. Oh no, no, no. But it's like terrible. I've lived there for eighteen years. <sighs> It, not in the city. Not the city, though. though. Bro. The city and like other parts no, of New York. I are too love completely... everything about the Northeast more than any. I if, like the people. If I had the, of course, if I had the weather there, the weather here in LA is the only reason why I'm here. And the only reason why I'm still alive here and still thriving is because I live 45 minutes from everybody. Yeah. So, so the thing is, is like when I am, when, when I want to hang out with a girl, if, if she comes over, She's cool enough to not give a fuck to get in an Uber for 35 minutes. Yeah, that's true. Which 90% well, of the girls... Well, okay, well, <laughs> strategized it around the house. I love bro, that. Bro, literally though, because it's like, also, do I want to drive 45 minutes to do, to do some bullshit? Yeah, no. Nah. So if I have something important yeah, to 45 do... 45 minutes here is like three hours. And let me ask you something. Do these nah. California drivers drive with a fucking blindfold? They are the worst in the what world. What is that? In the fucking world. In the world. Like, I, I thought New York was bad. Bro, fuck me, bro. Recently, I've been rolling my window down. And like letting it go, let it fly. Oh, I, I'm I'm averaging two to three fingers a day. That's sick. And I'm serious. And like <laughs> I drive, I, I just got a brand new fucking G wagon. So I'm like, I can really, really fuck. You got a G wagon? I got a new G wagon. I'm go. I roll down the window. Like, fuck you! Wow, like, I got like, a G wagon, buddy. Like, what are you gonna hit me? Bees. And like, I didn't really. That didn't hit me until like recently, where I was like, I've got a big ass fucking car too, and it's matte black. You're also a pretty. I'm not gonna. Nah, I mean, you know, a little bit. But, Are you natty? But still, yeah, I actually am. I've Full always natty. Been. I've always been. I don't take any protein, shakes, nothing. I've eat, I have fucking crack genetics. And what's crazy is like, I was looking at a picture last night on my camera roll from when I was 15. I can show you right now. When I was fucking 15. No was, way. Did you jacked. like, what did you, you wrestle or anything? I played rugby. That's. I played rugby. Um, that shit got me pretty, pretty yoked because I wasn't very... You I'm, played rugby? Actually, you know what? That's a pretty badass sport. That's literally football without pads. It right? is badass. Like, it was really gay, though. That's the, that Got was the it. thing. I was waiting for that, it but I didn't really want to be the one gay. to say it. Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't want to be the one to say it. I was like, you know what? No. It seems kind of gay, but no, I don't want to be the one but what, to what say was, it. But what was cool about it, though, was my, my high school rugby team... We were all like pretty cool guys. Yeah. So, but but the teams we would play because rugby was so small. We played against a lot of these schools that were all boys schools. They'd wear the caps and shit on their head. Yeah. And like we were just these just like jacked, strong like douches that were just like we were fun. So that was fun. But we'd play against some guys that I'm like, you guys are you guys are fucked. Like yeah. I know you're fucked. And like you'd have little moments in the games where you're just like, chill the fuck out, bro. Bro, but it was are, still. I, I like the I like the rugby like watching the um the the chicks, and they're like rugby running chicks? around in songs. Oh, bro! When so so this this was when I was this was Wait, August fifth. I want to see this. We're this is in Jersey City. This is in Jersey City. So the, you can see my bro. fucking build when I was fifteen years old, which like I'm blessed to oh, have. Oh shit, bro! You kind of ripped. That's what I'm saying, and like I didn't work out, so it's like, bro, that's crazy. It's it's fucking crazy and and so when did course, you start like lifting? You must have lifted started lifting. I was like seventeen, eighteen, earlier, like earlier sixteen, that, seventeen. Because yeah. I, I wanted to get strong for rugby, so I started lifting. But I've 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 been nonstop lifting since then, and I've most I've had is a couple of weeks off at worst. Where do, you, worst. where do you work at? You work at Zoo. I work at uh, Young LA. Oh, yo, that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That. What's that dude's name? Which one? There's so many. Of them. Mad nice. Wait, this is gonna piss me off, and I'm gonna bring it up on here because Ooh. I fucking this. That works for young, uh, works uh, young LA athletes. He sent me OD oh, shit. He was OD nice. It was Harry. this guy. It was uh, wait, I got it right here. Uh, no, not Harry. What huh. the fuck's his name? Because I mean, they're all literally they're all Ger nice. Ger Giordani. Giordani, yeah, nice. Giordani's dude, a G. Bro. I was like, he sent me OD shit. He lives in Chicago, and he, yeah, He's I, I was gonna. I wanted to like get dinner with him like down here because I like he sent bro, me a bunch young of LA, stuff. Bro, young LA is going to be the biggest fucking. They're, 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 bro, for the Black Friday they were they go ape shit cooking. They go ape shit every time. All the athletes are cool. the The gym is dope. They they just opened up a brand new gym. It's not public, but um, we work at they have a basketball court. I work out there Damn. every day. Um, That'd be sick. The music's blasting. That's the best thing. You could do whatever the fuck you want. You could film. You could yeah. fuck with people. You could do. You were anything. working out though at Zoo bring my, for a while, yeah, right? I, was, I worked out. Zoo culture changed. Definitely changed my life, yeah. like for the best. When I first, when COVID hit and I was in LA, 
I was in. I, I moved. I moved to LA in, in April 2020. There was nothing to fucking do. Wow, you, you. Wow, you were here peak COVID. Peak COVID. I. I, I never been to LA. I sent it. I moved Wait. Here. So what'd you do? Like you just blew up on TikTok and just immediately moved here. Bro, I've got a weird ass story, man. I've got a really weird story. Like I'm like, actually curious. Like you started obviously on TikTok, and you. Like, so I started on TikTok in September of 2019, and it that's was when fucked. I started. It was fucked because yep. like. I I knew I had to entertain like bro in high school I got voted most likely to be famous I was just that guy that always was like trying to entertain everybody yeah, I yep, was just always yep. trying to be funny you always put you a light too, in the like, room yeah. you're trying to light up the room no yep. matter what and yep. for that reason you know same thing I got into music I started doing that so I got on TikTok to like promote my music second day on the fucking app I'm not even kidding I have screenshots 50k followers in 2019 the wow. second day on the app. Where I was, bl- I was posting. Wait, just from posting your music? It wasn't even cooking. No, videos? no, I wasn't oh, posting so, my music uh, barely. So, so I, my idea was like, okay, I'm gonna like make these, I'm gonna make content because I looked up to a lot of viners, yeah. these big content creators. I was like, I'm gonna make content. Uh, I'm gonna do whatever the fuck I can, and then yeah. I'm gonna like, int- I'm gonna bring the music into it, whatever. You know, pretty much it went so far that I had to stop making. I, I just stopped. I kept the music away from it. Yeah. It was still fun, but like I was like, fuck that. I need to focus on this. It's working. Yep. It's blasting. So. Uh, Really quick, so ironically, like I, I was, I was at home in Charlotte. I was, I had nothing. To, I was living with my mom. Um, I was selling weed carts, like at home. Like I was, so I was, I was working. I was working for my dad. I was selling fucking weed carts. Weed, weed carts, like, like, weed? like the, the dab cartridges. Oh shit, I mean, it was so awesome. I, I had no, I was, I wasn't making any money other than that. So from that, but so this is interesting because like, for me specifically, which a lot of people like might not know that they can relate, but they probably could relate. That your environment like judges your creativity, yes. like where you are and how you yes. feel. It, uh, it, well, so obviously you got to be happy to be able to be creative. Yep. So for me at the time, I'm living in my mom's fuck. Technically, my mama's basement. You know yeah. what I mean? Like because it's like she got. We had a townhome and like I'm on the bottom floor. I had my bedroom and then there was a separate room that I made like my studio that I was making my music. So yeah. I had my studio, uh, but I couldn't. I couldn't afford you know like uh, a, a new computer, a new mic, nothing. So I sold. I I, I sold these carts for like. <laughs> Two months, yeah, when right? Did you get one, <laughs> bro. They're legal here. Um, <laughs> so I did that. I made like a couple thousand bucks, and I just spent it all on shit that I needed to like make myself feel better. Yeah. So I got a new computer, new TV, new microphone, yeah. uh, like a PC, so I could stream, so I could, so you know, just so I could like make content and shit. Yeah, yeah. And a, a TV, uh, sorry, com- uh, camera. So once I did that, um, I, it was like it was kind of like a pump and dump, like it's something quick that I could just get some money and and that helped me a lot because then I was able to, but that obviously don't fucking sell drugs, but it's like <laughs> that meaning like get a fucking job and yeah. make some money. If you yeah. have any aspiration, like save up some money and make it happen, whatever the fuck you have to do, you have to do it. So I, I ended up just, I, I'd get home from work. I'd work at my dad's restaurants. I get home from work and I'd be so geeked up because like I'd, I'd be working all day and then I'd be like, Dealing with fucking, my dad has like nice middle class, not like middle, like like high end restaurants, Italian restaurants in Charlotte, North Carolina. So I'm I'm working at the restaurants. The 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 people there are fucking the the worst. Most of the most of them are the worst. Where yeah, like yeah. they're just they're so stuck up and like they they love the service. So I'm dealing with that all day. I get off of work. I get home. I'm just like I'm tr- I'm about to explode, yeah. right? So I just start recording and I do some fucking crazy stupid shit. And my man I, had the hook. I blew up fast because. I make 10 videos a day yeah. and what, what I would do, I'd wait two, three days. I delete the ones that didn't blow up and I keep the ones that got a couple yes, hundred K or more. Yeah, and yeah. I would, and that made me feel good. I'm like, damn, like it's cooking, it's cooking, it's cooking. I had a bunch of viral videos. I used to take advantage of the algorithm. I knew that on, on a uh, TikTok, if you, if you got people to share your video, it yep, would go viral. Huge, yep. So what Certain I did, bro, to post to, all I that do this shit where I'm like, this video is for the boys, only for the boys. If you're not a boy, get the fuck out of here. Right. And then I go, Okay, 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 okay. It's just the boys. Yeah, All right, yeah. it's just the boys. Bro, I, I stretch out the video and then I go, you know when your armpit smells like this? Like, oh, it's a, so, so all the girls are gone. Yeah, all yeah, the girls yeah, are yeah. gone. Okay, it's just those. the boys. Yeah. It's just the boys. Bro, I cook it all the way to the end of the video. Then I'm like, I just wasted your fucking time saying this to somebody. <laughs> wasted stupid shit. Yeah, but sharing I knew is it the would biggest work. thing. I'm talking 20 mil, 15 mil, 15 mil, 20 mil on these videos. Just blasting because i figured out like what was working on the platforms yeah. you which found I, your niche which i deal with every day though is working with the algorithm you yeah. know what, what works on what platforms but that got me going i did a ton of different content i had around a million followers almost like six seven hundred k before i made my first cooking video so a cooking video that i did the first time was called wow, hey, you got that much where you started doing the cooking videos yeah Crazy. i had hundreds of videos bro it was like me joey Nero, polo boy it was all no of us way. we were like the we Yo. were like the, the douchebag yeah like, creators that were were popping at the time it was a small group that's and, crazy uh we were all very competitive too with each other matt um 
And basically, like, I did a video saying if the Jersey Shore had a cooking show, I put on a wife beater, I put on a little chain, yeah. and I went, this is John, talking like a complete <laughs> dick, like exaggerating as hard as I could. Yeah. I made a stupid pasta dish. I never cooked before that. So I just, I just made some pasta. I didn't really know what I was doing yeah. at all. It didn't matter. That video did pretty well. Then like a few, like a month later, I looked back at my content. I was like, what worked? Because I did so many different things that I was like, what's working? And I saw that, that I was like, that did pretty fucking well. Maybe two, two, three million views. I was like, that's pretty good. I made another one. I made some spaghetti and meatballs or something. Same shit, building up the character a little bit. Yeah. Um, that, that also cooked. It did pretty well. The third video got 30 million views Holy on TikTok. Fuck. In 2020, it was January, I think 2020. There's no videos getting 30 million views on TikTok. No. So there's and like back, back that was that's so huge. like dur during a week, there might be one. Or yeah. every other week, there might be one video get five million likes. It got five million likes. And at the time, that's fucking viral. Yeah, dude. That Even video, getting a video to hit a million. This video like blew now. up everywhere. And that shit was like, what the fuck is it was going a on? Video? I went yeah, I went from seven six hundred and fifty thousand oh, followers to one point five mil Holy in like less dick. than twenty-four hours. And I was like, just like Yeah, your life just fucking changes I'm like, like that. What the fuck, my man, my man packed I'm the bags and went right to LA. And this shit. Yeah, and then within the next few months, like you know, I have these management companies, horror hell, yeah, they the fucked worst me over. shit ever, bro. Yeah. That but it at least got me to LA. I had cheap rent. I lived with a bunch of idiots. That's a whole nother story. I can't even get into that. We, this would be a five-hour pod. It'd blow oh, your fucking mind. I want to pod the shit that I've experienced, bro. Oh, I love and tea. Because I want you to, I, I know you're going to shit on people that I low-key just don't fuck with. Bro, bring based it Based on, on just their content. Bring it on. I can tell you the truth about a lot of, because a lot of times it surprise you. Oh, yeah. People have shitty content, but they're really good people. And a lot of people have good content. And, and they're, they're just really assholes. People. I know. That's why. people. But people it's always very constructive. I'm never going to roast somebody unless it actually makes sense. Yeah, unless they've done something to either. me or yeah. they've done something to one of my friends. If like, it, see, I only roast it if it hurts my eyes. The second, ha the second that my eyeballs... You said you, you fucking put fire yeah, in me, I'm going to give you like, fire back. Some of the shit that I see is like straight bleach. Right. There's a lot of bleach. And I'm just like... I, I even... I hurt your eyes probably sometimes too. No. I'm yeah, saying, with like, your with intros, my, with yeah. the intros before the you video. pop in. Before I, well, <laughs> if you weren't funny, bro, if you weren't funny enough, like, we'd watch you? your videos and just go. It's like a lot of people react. <laughs> like you're you're taking a reaction and making it a lot better than it is. But like, for fuck's sake, the shit that you post, yeah. your 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 followers DM it to you or what? Yeah, bro. People think that my my feed is full of that. I look I'll at my. I think I've sent you some shit. Yeah, bro. You sent yeah, me a couple. Yeah, you, yeah. No, you sent me one video. You you texted me a video that I actually used, and I was really? like, oh wow, this is fire, dope. Yeah, Thank these you. Fucking douchebags. And then yeah, you're like, you're like, people oh, email gonna, me I'm videos. Gonna, that's great. That's great. They'll people send me, email me dick pics. That's nice too. <laughs> Have you done OnlyFans? Are you serious? Guys selling feet. Hell no. Why not? I just got on. Is it. he? Yeah. You dead ass? We'll keep it hey. off camera. No, I'm just kidding, bro. No. You fucking with me? If you fucking with me or not. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. For a second, I'm like, I was like, for a second, I was like, I was like, you know what? Like, yo, what do you, I, I was going to ask you, Duke, what do you, what do you want with your career? You know, no, where, no, where, I mean, where, do, where do you want to be? Like, where do you want to be? In the future, like, what do you? What's your future? Well, what people want to. People want to buy bags of my shit. I've gotten that a lot. Yeah, that's yeah. like weird. Shit. No, but it, but it, but like, it's how it goes. Like, you know, you being an alpha male, you're ripping the fuck out of people. You know, so it's like people like that. But uh, no, I haven't done exclusive content. I won't. So like, if anyone, every time people ask me, I'm just kind of like. What makes you think I haven't already? I make a fucking good amount of money doing yeah, what bro, I do. All that There's other a lot shit. of potential. That's doing even what like I, do. I was just talking about how. I, but we, why not make another five mil in the next year? Yeah, no, it's yeah. And I'm but like, to just downgrade yourself is fucking crazy. First off, like, no matter what, it sucks that it's like, like a lot of people do it, and like it feels really good to get that money. But that like, shit stays on the internet forever. Not only the internet. In you, bro. Like, yeah. in you. Because, like, you go... You, you you have so much fucking money this quickly. Yeah. So this actually is, is really comparable to a lot of big influencers that blew up really fast. 
Yeah. When you blow up really fast, that shit like kind of freaks you out. It fucks you up. Yeah, it freaks you Big out. Big time. I am so lo- so but for me, I knew that I wanted to do it. Yeah. I tried it and it worked and I went, "Let's go." Yeah. I, I know a, what I I'm like doing. I feel like there's a lot of people that are blowing up not expecting it. Because I watched content. I w- yeah. was watching these people's videos and I was like, I could do the same shit. Yep, I was the same because way. Because since, I knew, the, since yep. I knew that, yep. I said, let's go. Let's do this thing. Yep. A lot of other people don't do that. They they start making videos for fun. Yeah. And they blow up. And then instead of stopping, how are you going to fucking stop? It's a drug, bro. You got yeah. you got these followers and likes and bullshit coming in. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, Your but the consistency, up. people don't realize. I mean, you're consistent as fuck because you're yeah, always posting. But that shit to, is bro. hard, bro. It is. But Mentally it's hard just... to be creative consistently. Oh, yeah. Think of new ideas. Or for, Dude, I mean, how many videos? you think you fucking made i mean everyone but but the thing for me that i learned that helped me more than anything else was changing my environment who you're around who i'm around where i live yep my kitchen bro that is so different for me because to upgrade your work you got to upgrade your space yep if your work is going well make a change hire somebody so it's like it's a part of business that like I've I've had to work around a lot of people. When I lived with roommates multiple yeah. times, I was working around them. And that yeah, was you a had problem. to like make sure certain people weren't in the kitchen. Exactly. At a I go, yo, this is my space. Yeah. Get the fuck oh, out of there. See, I'm lucky. I got my whip. Nice. Nobody will ever come in my car with me. Exactly. And I'm in there alone. Exactly. Bro. And I'm fucking no. yelling. And it my would fuck out. you over if you got a nicer car. Don't get a I don't nicer. want one. Bro, exactly. If anything, I'm gonna get one. Like I'm gonna get like a Honda Civic piece of shit, bro. Get a I don't Prius care. or some shit. I don't. I'm like I'm you, crash it. He'll, he'll tell you how fucking cheap I am, bro. I I just bought a pair of no. New that's shoes. awesome. I don't fucking. That's awesome. I wish I was. I'm, I'm just like I like, I don't know. I'm weird like that. Like I'll dude, fucking buy a twenty dollar watch. It tell as long as it tells me the time, I'm booing. I'm chilling. But like out. with with making content, being creative for anybody in general, it's important as fuck to be able to like identify like what keeps you running. And for me, it's like I get a new house, I get a new place that. Once I just moved in here the last month, uh, my shit's been jumping, bro. Like, like jumping. Like things are a lot of things are coming up. I'm able to. I'm clear. I'm level headed. I work from That's eight a.m. Sick, I work from eight a.m. to eight p.m. every single day, and I love doing it. I get on my computer after I'm done filming. I edit things that I haven't edited in a minute. I have I have a cookbook coming out. And Fuck yeah! Don't you have a? Didn't you want to open a restaurant? Bro, you I have that? so much shit I want to do. I have a new concept for a restaurant. That's fucked. And damn, bro, you're damn, that's crazy. But but I won't be able to do it for years because it's gonna cost probably 10 or 15 mil to yeah, open that's this shit. Crazy. I want to open up a restaurant that every single thing in that restaurant is imported from Italy. So I want to build the restaurant in Italy and ship everything piece by piece to New York City. And I want to rest, I want it to be exclusive as fuck, expensive as fuck, but the best shit you've ever had. And I want to be there every single night. Bro, so I can't sick. do that shit right now. So nah, that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm fine with it. I want it to be like the celebrity home. I want, not celebrity, just in general. Like I know I hate that it's not like the most accessible thing in the world, which is yeah. where I would do multiple things. I'd love to have like a restaurant like that for business. Yeah. And then have a restaurant that is obviously more accessible, more more public. But if I'm going to get behind a product in general, like I'm working on a lot of things. I'm working on a pasta. I'm working on a cookbook. I, I'm done with my cookbook, but that that I haven't announced yet. Yeah. Um, and it's fine to, to, to mention it, but... Um, I announced my cookbook in January. Heavy announcement that Damn, comes out comes sick. out in May. I'm gonna need April, that bitch because I don't. April, I do. The only thing I know how to cook a is sick cereal. Fucking, it's a cool ass book. It's really fucking cool. I went. I went ape shit to get the cover done like my way. You know, like uh, with the the publishing the publishing company. I was like, I didn't. I didn't let them tell me what 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 we should do. You know, I, I yeah, stepped you ran forward the show. big time. Fuck I was like, yeah. We need to make this exactly how the fuck I want it because. I this is my book. Like I'm not gonna put out a book that I don't love. Yeah, nah. but I've got you know. There's, Damn, that's fucking sick. There's, there's so much shit. There's so much shit. But um, basically, going back to it, you know, the, like blew up, blowing up quickly really fucks over a lot of people. Oh yeah. Um, because imagine it's scary. Imagine bro. you're like Leonardo DiCaprio or something, and and you haven't had your first movie yet, and your first movie drop. Like imagine like Sydney Sweeney before Euphoria. I don't know how many big roles she had. Yeah. But like in general, you got people like that that like the movie comes out. The show comes out and, and it, it just blows up. Blows up, and you, everybody knows who you are immediately. Bro, you literally go outside yeah. that day, and you're getting recognized. Like, and crazy. you get recognized yeah. more than that's crazy. For me, it was like I got my 50k. I didn't get recognized. Yeah. Maybe once. You get recognized like crazy now. Yeah, 
Damn, that's crazy. Everywhere. It's really? fucking nuts. It's nuts. It's I, actually, it's I, really I, mind-blowing. I try to keep under the radar when I'm like out and shit. Yeah, know, it's so. harder in the Northeast, bro. People recognize you way more there. People you just know? don't but people fuck are, with people, me, bro. Some people, are, some people fuck with you. A lot of people are cool about it. The people that are cool about it are They're the dope that, as fuck. I love the people going. that are I love, cool. The best is, I love your content, bro. Keep it up. Yeah. Nice to meet you. That shit like hits the heart. Pick? Hell yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that shit hits the heart. Then you get the motherfuckers. That that are like the keyboard warriors. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suck dick. I hate that. Yo, I get that. I get that all the fuck. Get the fuck out of my face. No, the worst is when they FaceTime their friend and they're like, bro. He's like, he's like, yo, roast my friend for me. I'm like, bro, I'm not doing this shit off the fly, bro. Suck my dick and get Cameo, away. Cameo, do Gomez. I'm still doing him. That's sick. I mean, it's, it's. I met one of like the old heads of Cameo the other day, and I was like, I can't do it, bro. Like, it's hard for me to to get it done. Um, so it's perfect for you though. Like, yeah, I mean, I like doing like, cause people are always asking for like the birthday videos and shit yeah. and roasting dads yeah. or mother's day or whatever the fuck it is. No, but yeah, the cameo either. died off. Did it? You don't, have you ever done it? I used to a little bit. Yeah. But I was charging big when I had my fucking big following on TikTok and then lost that shit. Yeah. But Instagram, your Instagram's popping. So why wouldn't you do it? You don't think it's, it's yeah, I did, but it's just like, it's, it's hard getting the people to go. But your cameo's there, open. So. It's yeah, it's open. So it's anyone open. Can I get, I get them like here and there. A bit, they're only big. It's weird. Father's Day is like the biggest one. Really? Like fuck you, dad. Yeah. Like yo, tell my dad he's a fat fucking slob. That's crazy. Yo, pops. Hey, Mr. You're, Johnson, you're yeah. a fat bastard. Yeah, buddy. Your son hates you, but he loves you. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, yo, happy Father's Day, Jimmy. Your dad's so fucking fat, his car is starting to create stretch marks. Oh. Yeah, that's a Damn. fucking whale. Yeah, I get a lot of hate for that too. I, I made a shirt that says "Fat People Piss Me Off" in it. Yeah, it's a good, some, but some good shit. Oof. You do some really fucking crazy stuff. Would you Would you walk around with any of my shirts that I wear, that I designed? You have a lot. You have a lot of different. Ones. Like, would you wear one that says Which Michelle one? Obama has a dick? Maybe because like <laughs> that's just so that's just so fucking Yo, stupid. I think I love asking people that dude because that <laughs> Bro, is just so out that of that one. That one is wild. Yeah, that is so just like insane. He was the other day. He was like, "Yo, we might have to take that off the site." That's a little crazy. It's 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 just it's just like it's just offensive <laughs> as fuck. Like yeah, it's dude. so flat out like unnecessarily offensive. So unnecessary. It's just out of pocket, out of context. It's just wild. I love shit like that though, yeah. bro. And there's people that love it, love it too. Yeah, you know? but um, um, yeah, my followers yeah. are scary, bro. That shit's a scary world. Oh my god! But how did you, you see yourself living out here like forever? No, I mean, you bro, should go to Florida, bro. Hell no! Really? So I love big, Florida. Bro, the humidity is fucked. I like. Yeah, it. but isn't the humidity here bad? Just as bad? No, as it's dry stuff? as fuck. Right now, it's so dry. It's so. Dry. Doesn't rain ever, right? My knuckles crack off. It barely are, rains. Are your balls just as dry? My balls are fine. Nice. All right. Yeah. My man's getting them funneled. Yeah, no, actually not really, bro. You know, I mean, it's getting the I'm, in, I'm in a dry season. Nice. I'm not getting bitches recently. Really? But honestly, Yo, because you know they what? drive you fucking crazy. You, I'll give I'll tell you exactly why I don't go out of my way for girls. Yes. Is because I'll hang out with a girl. Dude, you know, you know how you know how girls are in this city? Oh, I don't want to know. Because you don't know if it's a guy or a girl. They got penises, pal? No. Guys getting fucked rather than fucking. Yeah, yep. but the, but the average girl in this city are they weird? Are they hot at least? Oh, they're always hot. Ooh, but it doesn't fucking matter. They do so many things to make you just like make them. They're so they make. Oh, me, they, they ruin your life, right? They they make they make themselves so much less attractive for so many things. First, so aggressive. Mm. That's number one. Kinda but like aggressive that. in the in the worst way. Okay. Was, okay. Uh, uh, second would be they they don't give a fuck. If you're like like successful, they won't. They don't want to make you feel good for shit. Okay, bro. If I pick up a girl in my two hundred thousand dollar car and bring her to a nice dinner, yeah, in this city, they don't that woman fun. is not gonna say thank you. <laughs> that woman is <laughs> no. not gonna say nice car. I hate that. That woman is not gonna say like, like, like. Uh, she's not gonna ask you jack shit about yeah. yourself unless she has to. Yeah. And and like yes, there are people out there, of course, that that are better than that. Yeah, yeah. But ninety percent of the experiences I've had here have blown my fucking mind. Yeah, but do you and find the next these morning I wake like up, Instagram or do you like like? How no, do you... I mean, there's like dating apps and shit. And like, are you on Tinder and shit? No, Raya. Raya is like a private dating app that's like, oh, the that's like the famous app. Fuck. I'm not gonna hold you. I tried on that. I didn't get accepted. You didn't. You didn't nah. ask me as. A, you didn't put me as a referral. No, you know who I put as a referral? You know who I put as a referral? <laughs> Vincent? No, no I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I think I put Tony as a referral. I'm not even going to lie. He rejected you? Yeah, I think so. You're a no, dick, I tried, dude. 
<laughs> I was just so fucked. Try right? again. That app is fucked. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, 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 dude. If thing. I showed you the girls on here, it's going to blow your fucking skull off your head. Yo. It's going to blow your fucking skull off Yo, your head. Yo, that's crazy. You got to show me those apps. I will, I will, I will. I will. You're gonna blow, it's going to blow your mind. Wait, so but, but the girls on there are fam- just as fam- like they're famous too, oh, right? Oh, bro, I've seen Doja Cat. I've seen like... You uh, matched so, with Doja Cat? No, no, I didn't match. Wait, who's that? Miranda Is that Cosgrove. the one that does the... W- Get the fuck out of here. Bro, the most here. random motherfuckers. Yo, I love Miranda Cosgrove. Oh, Tate McRae the other day. I saw her on... You know, she's... She's bad. I like Tate McRae. I'm obsessed. Dude, she's hot, and I like her music. She can dance. Yeah. She can sing. Oh, God. She's a solid 8.75. Mm. She's, got a, she's got it all, bro. Fuck 10s, fuck 9s. I want an 8.75. Mm. I she's, just a nine. Smell, she's a 9. I just want to smell the air that she's breathing. She's so know? fucking hot. Yo, I thought I saw her today in a G-Wagon. I've DM'd her man. twice. She didn't answer? No. I think I, she's a boyfriend. I think her boyfriend's an NHL, NHL player. No, I thought her boyfriend was the... A Charlie on a Friday. No, I'm that's not. not uh, no, no. If you look, I, I, I looked it up. Too. I looked it up. I don't know. Uh, no, I looked it up. I think she has a boyfriend. Are you trying? Are you gonna? Are you gonna have a wife anytime soon? What's Hell going on no, with you? Bro. You're over that shit. Fuck no. They're they're, they're a lot of money. No, nah, because a lot of bro, I got I just got two dogs. I got a new house. I got shit to pay for. I got employees, bro. Like there I can't I can't have a girl. Yeah. Because like the same shit. Like I'm working too hard to give anybody any time. Right oh, hundred percent. And you're on that grind right now. That I, you I had, a, I had a girlfriend. Be... I actually had a girlfriend for like eight months while um, you were making content. Yeah. Like pretty recently. Oh, like, wow. like we broke up like six, maybe like a year ago. Oh, we broke up like a year ago. We dated for like six to eight months. And like, it wasn't very public. It was private. It was a great I like, private is better, bro, bro. And like, but, but then again, like that kind of, that made her feel uncomfortable. Really, a little mm, bit. Could, yeah. Naturally, she just kind of was like, you know, like she she's not like trying to chase any cloud at all. But yeah. it was more of like a people people thing. don't really know about us. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then I'm yeah. like, I know, but like I don't want I don't want it to you, be you, like but that. But you don't post her out of respect, and I'm the and, yeah, and I'm, yeah yeah I get like that. a lot totally a lot of reasons. That. But yeah. like I had a great relationship, but then it, it really ended because I was just like, I can't do this shit right now. Yeah, like I really can't. Like there is not like there is not enough. It's hard. Like I have, I've got too much shit. Too much on the for plate, us bro. To, you know, we, My man's got to make this fucking cookbook. You hoes got to stay away from the oh, guy, man. There's a lot of shit. There's a lot of shit. But long story short, the dating life in this city is yeah, whack. Fuck trash. I can only imagine whack. it's even worse than like Miami, though. We were just out in Miami, oh. and f- yo, you know what's fucked? Yo, you know what else? No, I'm gonna tell you what's actually fucked before you tell me what's, what's fucked? fucked. Why am I paying a hundred dollars for a bag of chips down there? In Miami? Come on, dude. Cocaine or a bag of chips? My man, (laughs) everything there, over $100 to breathe the air I got to fucking pay. Why? For mediocre bullshit? Yeah. The guy served me air on a plate and wanted to charge me 50 bucks for it. I I had had no good restaurant. I said, buddy, why don't you put a mistletoe over my balls and come fucking kiss them, you piece of shit? Fuck yeah. Fuck that. Fuck that motherfucker. I don't like that shit, bro. Like, it's bad enough that I'm there. No, Miami's fucked. I like it. I like it. I like Miami, but it's fucked. It's very fucked. And the bitches are worse over there, bro. They're probably the worst. They do this. Not to your dick, but to your wallet. You know? They'll milk you, bro. Oh yeah. They'll milk you. They're better than they're. they're he worse. does that to my wallet too. But the really? bitches. Buy me a new camera. Yep. No, it's it's not it's not it. But you know what's fucking crazy? I I just came back from Milan. Milan Where? Milan. Where's that? In Italy. Milan. Oh yeah. And I want to go to Italy so bad, bro. Milan like isn't Italy. Milan is like its own fucking thing in Italy because like Rome is is Italy. You go to Rome, it's fucking Italy. You I want to go to the, I want to go to Sicily. You go really to Sicily, bad. Venice. Yeah. It's it's fucking. It's pure. You yeah. go to Milan. It's the, it's the biggest fashion district in the world. So, dog. you're a fashion guy. I model. I model. Like I'm actually I'm with like one of the best agencies in the world. And, and oh like, shit, which but people don't really know about. But like my campaigns, when they slowly roll out, people will be like, "Fuck this guy!" Like he's actually doing real shit. Like I was just, <laughs> bro. I just I just had a, like a, I had a big meeting with Armani in Milan. No and, way. Like, Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, like crazy shit. But like it's it's I'm I'm too big to model. Like they don't like when you have a lot of muscle. Fuck you, bro. Which is fucked. I'm too jacked. Can I have a little bit of it, pal? Dude, you're fucking, you're fucking just as big as me. What are you fucking talking yeah, got, about? Yeah, but bro, I got no fucking legs, bro. Some guy walked. You don't up. hit him. No, I hit him. You do? I hit him. Some guy asked me the other day. He was like, "Yo, what are those strings hanging from your fucking <laughs> pants?" I don't know, pal. Maybe my legs, you dipshit. Like, I don't get it. You know what it is? My calves. How do I get the? That's genetic. You hit calves? Yes. Every what do you day. do for calves? 
little raises. But no, free, but free weight? You don't do any weight? Uh, no, no. You have a cap machine? No, no, no. Yeah. I, at my gym, I have the thing where you like stand and then you hunch over and then sitting down. Bro, you got to do like a bag of mushrooms and sit there with like like a backpack on and just be like, <laughs> like, <and> like <laughs> squeeze your, really get your why, mind in there. Why the mushrooms? No, no. It's, it's, I don't know. Mind the muscle, you know? Jesus get your mind, Christ, get your mind sharp. If I took mushrooms, I'd fucking run into a wall. Yeah. But, uh, no, you, you definitely, you, it's genetics. Genetics is a big part of it all. For me, I can, I can, I can move my body like in two seconds. What I do can you get squat? Right. I don't squat heavy, ever. I can squat three fifteen. I don't ever squat three fifteen. I can squat three fifteen. I probably for one. I probably, me too. I could probably do it for one. What do Which, you deadlift? But but you can't tell people this shit. That's the that's the pussiest shit. Like really? Ever. Should we cut it? <laughs> do we cut three, that? Three fifteen for one is like a high school average. Go on fuck squat. yourself. I'm it proud is. Of myself. It is. I could do two twenty five for like thirteen on squat. Yeah. What about bench? I could do two twenty five for like. Four, five, five. That's the most. So the compare, most I but think about the comparison. Think about the comparison. You know what I mean? That's yeah, fucked up. Yeah, if you're yeah, like I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> if you're like, I can hit two sixty five for <laughs> one on bench, but I can squat three fifty. Like, bro, you're, you're you're using your whole using this much to like go like this, like. But no, no, no. But in, in in all seriousness, like it's all it's all, it's very genetic and like you know. Uh, but I deadlift a lot though, four fifteen. That's me too. That's the only time I ever, tr- the only time I ever tried to max out was actually 415. I never went, I never attempted to go. I think higher. I could, I think I could, I might be able to outwork you in the gym. I think it's a possibility. Not. I think Definitely we should do not. a gym video. Sure. Because I will, uh, tomorrow morning. I'm going snowboarding with Garrett tomorrow. Shut up, Big Bear. Yeah. Fuck. What are you doing? Going to Vegas. Damn. That's fucked. You're going to have so much fucking fun. Or we, are you? You're going to have fun watching them. I know he's sick, dude. Wait, no, but but you I'm do you good board at like that? Oh yeah, I mean, yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, you, yeah. No, you, you, I watched bro, your, a, your BMX videos y'all saw the other dude, day. Shut the fuck up! Don't call BMX, bro. Sorry, what's that it was called? disrespectful. What's it called? Motocross. Motocross. Guy called it BMX. Motocross. You I'm should not get educated. Su- no, no, no. You should get sued for that. <laughs> the, my moto, my moto followers are gonna hate you. Don't call BMX. It's That's not bicycle BMX. Shit. It is bike. It is bike. It is you ever rode a dirt bike in your life? Uh, no. Good. You don't belong on one. Yeah, because calling it BMX. Jesus Christ. What if I start calling your pasta noodles? I bet you would. No, Ronies. I'm going to start calling them Ronies. Ronies. I used to call them Ronies. <laughs> What's your problem, bro? Yeah. No, I no, got no. That, that is disrespectful. That is very disrespectful. Nah, I, but uh, uh, yeah, no. My, my no, no, dude, but, but, my but in all seriousness, dope. like you you fucking shred. So I can see you definitely shredding. Uh, yeah, I just like high intensity shit. Like I like crashing. I like hitting my head. I mean, obviously, I've, you I've been. box or anything? No. You should box. I should probably get into that. That shit's a good workout. Not even I'm that. Starting just, boxing next week. Just need it eventually, bro. People can try to fight you, man. No, you know what it is. I Yo, just steer away from shit. Someone at a club two months ago. No one knows this. Sucker punched me in the back of the head when I was taking a piss. Really? Oh yeah. Is that I, when you got arrested? No. That's a different story. Oh, are you allowed to talk about? Wait, wait, uh, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay. TMZ posted that shit. No way. Pops the guy gets arrested for shoving a noodle up his ass. Nice. Pretty much. Bro, but listen to this. I'll, I'll start with me getting punched. Yeah, I like that. This shit's fucked. This is so fucked. Oh, that's so. I've pussy. never been in an actual fight. I've never picked a fight. I've never actually. Me I've never. Yeah. I've never fought anybody in my life. I've never had to. Yep. I'm just a nice guy. I'm just not trying to fight anybody. So, the the there's a there's a company called White Fox. I'm gonna put everything on blast. Everything. Nice. Everything. Everything like needs that. to come out because first off, it's their fault for inviting these people. And it's it's everybody. This, this, I'm gonna tell you exactly what happened. Wait, was this like a was this like a private party? Like what was yeah. it? Okay. So you know Tao, the restaurant. Yes, I do. So T-A-O. Tao, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've got clubs in New York. Yes, yes. They've got clubs here. Yes. They've got clubs everywhere. Yep, I know. They got resorts. So this, this technically had nothing to do with Tao because so this company White Fox. Okay. You know the like hot girls, but they they it's a company. Yeah, like, yeah. You'll see their ads. And be like, I think Damn. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah. So I got invited to their tenth anniversary. Um, it was, it was their 10th year anniversary for the company. They had a party at Tao. So, so, but whatever. That has nothing to do with Tao. Tao yeah. was where it was. No, Tao, there's no Tao workers or anything. Um, but I went to this event. First things first. I'm walking in at the same time as Madison Beer. Dude, now, I'd, I'd eat her farts. Sorry, that was out of pocket. A little bit. I like that joke. I do too. And I always crazy. have. I always have. And she likes Italian guys. Um, Damn. And you got to. Ooh. Keep going. Basically, right. I've never been in the same room as her. So, Damn. so I got to be in the same room as her. I locked eyes with her for a second. And it was just like, you fell in love type shit. I was like, let's get it. Like, 
but that, that was it. I was like, that's great. I got to look at it. I'm, I'm like, cool with that. Like, we got to lock eyes for a second, maybe once or twice that's all, more. That's all I would need. I'd not all I packed. needed, bro. So yep. I'm already having a good night. I'm starting to pound a couple drinks. <laughs> I'm feeling good. There's a lot of friends there. It's a cool event. The venue's big, bro. I, I, I'm like maybe an hour and a half in. I go down to take a piss in the bathroom. These two guys, one big motherfucker and one little motherfucker, come into the bathroom with two girls. And they, so the girls had a giant line into the women's room. Yeah. These guys brought the two girls into the men's room. The, the guy, the two guys work in the bathroom didn't give a fuck. So clearly yeah. they paid them off, whatever, like bring the girls in. They bring the girls in. I'm sitting there taking a piss. I look over my shoulder and I go like, damn, like, uh, like bring the girls in the bathroom. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. I'm not saying anything fucked. Yeah. yeah. I'm being completely just I like, I said the same thing, bro. Just like, no yeah, way. It's natural sick. as that's fuck. Lit. Dude. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Right? Watch who you're talking to, bro. You better watch. This guy's fucking 6'4", 250. Watch who the fuck you're talking to, bro. And I go, damn. Like, my bad. Like, it's not that deep. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Rock, dude. I'm, I keep taking my... This is so <laughs> fucked up. This is so fucked up. I'm going to show you pictures of my fucking face after this. <laughs> I finish up my piss. I'm in the middle of my shake. <laughs> I turn my fucking head. This motherfucker, <laughs> huge, punches me as hard as he fucking can in the back of the head. How'd that feel? Did you get Bro, knocked out? No, thank God. Thank God. I didn't get knocked out, but my I'll be honest. Almost, my man almost saw Pop Smoke. I'll be honest. One. Bro. Nice. He hit me right here in the back of my head behind my ear. Um, oh I, my I ate the punch, the first one. Oh, you got rocked twice. You got rocked multiple times. Oh, six times. Oh, my man, my man turned into a fucking speed bag. Bro. This guy punched me in the back of the head. First off, who the fuck punches you in the back of the head? Yeah, that's, that could that's fucking kill shot. you. That that's, could kill you. Yeah. If you get hit in the wrong spot of your yeah, fucking you head, you're like, fucked. Fu yeah, you're yeah. fucked. This guy hit me in the back of the head. I had cauliflower ear and everything, bro. My my whole entire ear blew up. Uh, my whole entire face was fucked up. Holy shit! And from I didn't get punched. In the, I didn't get punched in the front of my face. He punched me in the back of the head. He kept punching me in the back of the head until I fell to the ground. So he punched me five or six times to, to the ground, and I sat there on the ground. I just finished my piss. I had piss in my fucking oh. pants. <laughs> Bro, I Yo. leaked in my fucking pants. I'm laying there on the ground looking up at this guy going, chill the fuck, like, chill the fuck out. Yeah. Like, holy shit, like, get the, like, let me fucking leave. Yeah. Bro, this guy's huge. Holy this guy's shit. fucking huge. Wait, wait, there was no security guards, nothing? No, they didn't give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. So listen Yo. to this, listen to this. Bro, I, he knocked my glasses off my fucking face. <laughs> my seeing glasses, they're on the fucking ground. I get up, I walk out of there, bro. The I'm, I'm, I'm bleeding out my fucking nose. Holy I'm shit. I'm bleeding out my eye. I'm, I'm fucked up. I'm pissed off. Wait, when, when was this? Not even two months ago. Oh, wow. This Bro. Was, wow. Dude, I walk, I walk out of this place. I walk, I walk out of the bathroom, right? One of my friends saw it. I, t I saw him last night, and he told me, bro, he's like, I wanted to help you. But those he goes, are... no, he goes, but yeah, A, that guy was fucking huge. What a and, dick. And B, he goes, I got sucker punched in a bathroom once, and that shit scared the fuck out of me when I saw you get hit. He was like, I didn't know what to do because that shit happened to me. He's like, I, I had PTSD because the same shit happened Holy to me. Holy shit, bro. And, and, uh, but either way, there's no stopping that. Mother Those motherfuckers were massive. Yeah. Or at least the one guy was. That's so I don't know what happened. He greenlit it. He said, fuck this guy up. I don't know why. Like, what the fuck kind of threat? The, he, they, they were guarding the girl's stall as they were in there doing what? Coke? Taking a piss? It doesn't fucking matter. Yeah, that's crazy, Why do you got to punch me for no fucking reason? So I walk out. I end up going back in and getting my glasses. I put, I'm, I, I got no glasses on. I'm going up the stairs. I'm talking to the security there. And I'm like, I'm like trying to point out the people at least. Yeah. Like that, this guy's just fucking sucker punched me. And I'm like pointing them out. I'm like, those guys right there, those guys right there. And I went back in my bathroom. I got my glasses. My sister was visiting with her fiance. Um, and, and my, my sister's fiance is six, five oh, fucking shit. huge. And he was just like, fuck, they like, you know, they like, do wish. anything. So this is what's fucking crazy. So fuck the, the, the people there for this. Yeah. They asked me, you know, what do you want to do? You want to press charges, blah, blah, blah. I was like, no, uh, fuck yeah. that. Like, just get these motherfuckers out of here, you know? So I walk out and one of the security guard tells me, he goes, you, you should probably go home, bro. You should probably leave. And what? I go, what? And he's like, these guys, you don't want to fuck with these guys. And I'm like, damn, bro, bro. this event, 
has Madison Beer there. Yeah. This event has a lot of celebrities. It's a clean cut. It's a woman's yeah. fucking clothing brand. That's crazy. The fuck you got gang people there for? Yeah. That's why? Nuts. Like, what, what are they, cartel, gang? I don't, who, like, why the fuck is this even? That's insane. Why are you letting these people there? They had a table too there, which like, Everything was calm. And so, and so, I mean, so this is what's fucking nuts. crazy. They, the security lied right. to me. They said they're gonna close their tab and they're gonna they're gonna they're coming out. They're closing their tab right now. We want you to you want if you want if you should you should get the fuck up. You should stand at least twenty feet from the building. They're about to come out. And I went okay, bet. I step out and I wait a minute or two. I get my Uber home. People, my friends were there. They told me, a. They They're, never left. Wow. They they, they were there for another hour and a half, like, yo, yo, vibing yo, out. Yo, buddy, we just rocked some fucking. Meat they didn't give a fuck. They probably felt so good about it too. They just rocked me for no reason. Who who the fuck punches someone in the back of the head? That's, That's one of the biggest dickhead That's moves grimy as hell. of Especially all time. Cheap shots like that. Cheap shot in the back. I'm not I'm not kidding at all, dude. And the, the, I can show you from the pictures that I don't have any direct <laughs> impact on my face. Oh, I got. I'm, yeah, you know you you. I got no. He, I, okay, when, when he, after you punch me in the back of the head, he punched me in the nose. So he punched me. He punched me dead in the face uh, after, but basically, like I, I leave and like I tried to. I didn't. I didn't call the. Actually, my sister called the cops, but I ended up just. I brushed it off. I said, "Fuck this. I don't want to get into this. Yeah, I don't care whoever they are. Me. If they're gonna punch me like that, yeah, that's crazy. They're not someone you want to. They're not someone you want to fuck with. Yeah. So first off, the whole entire staff was paid off by these guys to do whatever the fuck they want in that club. I'm pretty sure they probably were strapped. They probably had guns. Oh yeah. Who the fuck go does that type of shit? And the security all knew who they were and let them do that shit and lied about closing their tab when the whole entire event was comped, even the tables. So I got lied to. I got punched in the back of the head. So that's another thing that made me just say, like, fuck this city. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. really, fuck this city. Like, who are they to do that shit? Those girls weren't famous. They were just two random girls. Probably Grimey just shit. little, crazy. little, little girls of the night for those guys, whatever. That was when I got punched in the back of the head. But that was not when that I got seems arrested. That like a fun time. I'm gonna get arrested for some fucking bullshit. Yeah, oh some God. bullshit. So like you got bullshit. cuffed and all that? One the other day. You ready? Let's go. I'll make this fast. So when when I moved I moved into this house with Bryce. Uh, oh, so this was a while ago. Yeah. So this was this was like August uh, 2022. Oh. Um, so we move in. Um, and my one of my roommates, Zach, who's friend like was originally more friends with Bryce. Zach friends, Lugo? No, no. Uh, so he, he's not an influencer. He rented a U-Haul and I borrowed it. And I didn't know. So this the U-Haul was in our driveway for like fucking six days. Okay. And like we were taking our time because Bryce had this big ass massage chair that we didn't want to move because it was so fucking heavy. Yeah. So we just left the fucking U-Haul in the driveway for a minute. One of my friends, he needed help moving into a new apartment. So I was like, I'm going to snag the U-Haul. Fuck it. So I grab the U-Haul. We go. We, we load up his truck. Or we load up the truck with all of his shit at the yeah. apartment. Um, if anyone knows LA, this is like Van Nuys, Van Nuys Boulevard. Like I'm driving, <laughs> this is so fucked. I'm I'm driving. We're we're a minute and a half from this dude's new place, right? Yeah. I see a cop drive by, and the opposite side, both of them look at me like this. Right. I'm like whatever. I keep driving. I see them turn around in the rear, and, and then another cop passes by. Right. And then I get up to a light. There's three cops behind me. No lights, nothing going on yet. I make a left turn onto the literally the road that this dude's moving into his place. Yeah. There's fucking seven or eight cop cars behind me. The lights flick on. Holy shit. I pull over. This is so fucked. I pull over and um they so so you know megaphones get the show put your hands out of the window both Holy of us shit. so 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 the, the guy that i was with my friend he had his computer his whole ass computer in his lap because we were moving he wanted to keep it safe yeah. he get the computer in his lap he goes uh they're, they're you know they're like, show us your like show us your hands keep your hands outside the vehicle so here's what here's here's you what here, here's why shit got serious because in la Homeless people rent U-Hauls, live out of them, sex trafficking, drugs. So they have to treat. So so the U-Haul was was marked stolen. I didn't know the U-Haul was marked stolen oh, because my roommate didn't fucking pay the U-Haul. Oh, so I was driving was a stolen dead. vehicle. A stolen vehicle. Oh my God. I was driving a fucking stolen vehicle. So they're treating this as Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. But worse because of the potential for there to be <laughs> drugs, trafficking. 
whatever the fuck, right? So they don't care. The f- they don't give a fuck about who you are. This yeah. is this is one of those big moments where where like there's no privilege, there's no nothing. It's like you are a criminal. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's nothing stopping it. These so so I keep my hands out of the car. They come. They my my, my boy in the passenger seat's going. I have a computer in my lap. Can I remove the computer? <laughs> that shit he's shit his pants. I'm not like that. I'm like, this is fucked. We're gonna get through this. So he's shitting his fucking pants. They pull us. They they uh, they, they they remove the. Oh, he said, "Can I remove the the computer?" He moves the computer. Comes out with his hands. I come out with my hands out. I I uh, uh, they 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 give the they big. They got a whole fucking uh, method to this. Yeah. Keep your hands out. Walk out into the middle of the road. They're blocking the road. This like this main street. They're blocking the whole fucking thing. Yeah. They say like uh, slowly lay down on the ground. I'm laying down on the ground with my arms out on the asphalt in the middle of this giant fucking road. There are 12 cops with their guns out, bro. 12 Holy fucking cops. Shit. I look behind me and they're all over their doors with their guns out. Because again, I could be a fucking drug dealer, trafficker, yeah, anything. Yeah. They have to treat it like I'm on some fuck shit. All my man was trying to do is get to the pasta to the I door. was just helping this dude move, bro. <laughs> so, bro, these dicks, they come in, they shove their fucking knee in my back, pull my... Like, no way. I'm not moving, dude. They're, they're dicks. Like cops, a lot of cops yeah, are fucking yeah, dicks. Yeah. They just love to... They're like, we got them. But like, we didn't get shit. So like, just fucking boom, boom, cuff me, throw me in the car. Uh, obviously, I was I was the driver, so I'm the one that got arrested. And then my friend, he got he got let off. We told him the whole story. I was like, my my roommate didn't pay the bill. Uh, blah 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 blah. It doesn't fucking matter though, <coughs> because either way, they gotta try you like like yeah. you're a criminal. So I'm in the cop car for like a fucking hour. The cops have to wait on hold to talk to the police station. So they had to call the police station to tell them to to clear the license plate because a U-Haul rep, a Utah a U-Haul worker, yeah. had to come pick up the U-Haul and then drive it back to the U-Haul, and he'd get arrested if they don't clear the plates because they'd be like, "That's Mark stolen." Yeah. Just to get on the phone with the police station, they were on hold. The hold music was like Drake, <laughs> Young Thug, and I'm sitting there in the back like, "What the fuck, fuck is it's, going on?" It's hot as hell. I'm in the back of this fucking plastic seats, just like fucking fuck and like just like this is so fucked that's insane and, and then eventually i get taken to a holding cell i'm in the holding cell they're telling me like you'll probably be in jail for like the weekend and and this was like a friday this no this was a thursday night i think Holy no this, shit. Was a, this was a friday so this is a fr- no not friday night this was like friday 5 p.m <laughs> yeah i get put in a holding cell they come they tell me what was going on they're like you know so this and that <laughs> one of the cops in the car he's like my wife loves your videos so Get that, the fuck out of here. Because I'm in the car and I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm telling them my story a little bit. I'm yeah. like, I'm an influencer. I make cooking videos. You should check it out. I'm just oh, in the so car. Man's like, I'm a nice guy. I'm no, like, literally, I'm just like, go look worry, at my videos. Not. And then later on, the, the cop, he was pretty cool. Like, he came back in and he was like, when I was in the holding cell at the station, he was like, he was like, my wife loves your videos. Like, He's like, I'm sorry, but like, you're good. You're probably, you'll probably be in for the weekend. Like, best case, you get out tomorrow morning. Like, I don't know. So you were in a cell. Um, well, I, first I was in a holding cell. Then I got transported in a in a in a cop van, in a, a jail van, uh, you, to the jail. Did you, drop, to, did you drop the soap? No, I didn't shower, bro. Oh, all right, listen, listen. So then I, I got to the I got course. to the actual jail. I got to Van Nuys Jail. Uh, all the cops were actually really fucking cool, and um, it was kind of it was a smooth process. I was in a cell with like maybe fucking 16 bunk beds and like 10 other dudes it was hilarious really because for the first guy that i was in like one of the the there's there's so many holding cells and shit the first guy you get a you get a band that has like a number that you you get three calls and like the first thing before i had to hand over my phone i got to i got to i put my girlfriend's number i put my mom and i put my mom's number and my boy that that um that i was helping move because whatever you know i needed a good good three points of contact yeah the dude that i'm with he's like bro i just got out 10 years i just got out he's like i'm back in now he's like because he he had he like whatever it was this dude was like bro they're fucking with me man they put me on like a hundred and fifty thousand dollar bail like i can't pay that shit (laughs) and he's like he's like he he was so cool that he was just like it's a rap bro like they got me (laughs) Like, back in, yeah. I just got out 10 years. He's like, I'll probably be back in for another 15. Jesus. And he was fuck. just like, damn, bro. And I was like, I'm like, what the fuck? He goes, dude, I'd why, be he's like, like, why are you in here? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I 
was like, I've been no, here for the man. weekend, brother. I was like, bro, I was driving a stolen U Haul on accident. And he was like, that's tough, man. He was like deadly assault, like, like assault oh, with I a deadly someone, weapon brother. charges. He had assault with deadly weapon charges. Oh my god! Bro. He told me he's like, and which is crazy. He's like, bro, they got me. He's like, today was the only rainy day in a year and a half in LA. He goes, the day that it rains, bro. He's like, I'm coming. He was kind of avoiding it. He was like fleeing his, uh, like they they were supposed to. He, he had a warrant and he was fleeing it for a minute. So that was that guy, right? Yeah. Everyone in the cell couldn't figure out how to use the phone. <laughs> so I was the guy standing <laughs> by the phone, help. There was a line of people. Like, yeah, you press this button to call No, home. straight up. Really but it was confusing. So it took me th- fucking 45 minutes to figure it out. The, the jail phones suck, obviously. Yeah, yeah, Everything yeah. fucking I sucks. Mean, I, I would know. I would know. So, so it was a trip. I was in there. I only ended up being in the cell for like 12 hours, which is a lot of time to be in a fucking jail cell for, for someone who's never been in jail. Yeah. But it would have been fine. I was sick. I was super sick. I had like the flu or something. I couldn't breathe. So I'm sitting there like blowing my nose in like the nasty paper, like toilet paper. And like you barely have any water. And like. Yeah, they treat you like a fucking. I call a bail company. They they also know my fucking videos. That's crazy. So I think that's so fucking weird. Funny. I'm like, please help me. They're like, we love your content. Can you we'll imagine like, we'll like you a out. cop like trying to shoot you? Like, put your hands. I fuck with your QCP, videos. QCP, but you're a great chef. I like the put your fucking hands up, but I'm going to blow your dick off, pal. So, so like that was, it was fucked going to jail, but like I got out at like 5am. I slept for a couple hours. I was pretty sick, but that night we were all going to a UFC fight ringside. So Bryce is, Bryce is friends with Dana White. Oh, um, because Bryce, like it went and Bryce's, uh, Dana's daughter was a big fan of Bryce and Josh Richards and, and had them both come to, uh, her birthday party in Vegas. Oh, they had Uzi perform and they had Bryce and Josh as like attendants, wow. which is nuts. That's fucking crazy. Dana offered them a bag. He, and they, they both said, no, they're like, we're good. Like we just would love to come, which is super respectable. Hell yeah. And like basically Bryce had these, had six seats ringside. So, um, we, we get, <laughs> so I'm like, we gotta, we gotta fucking go to Vegas. Not to mention the kid I was trying to help move. It's his birthday. So I'm like, let's go, let's go. Yeah. Fuck it. I take some, I'm taking medicine. I'm trying to make it happen. Like, let's get it. We drove there. I'm like fucking dying, dude. I can't even, I'm like, I'm barely fucking alive. Uh, and, and we get to Bryce's house in Vegas. I like Uber eats a bunch of medicine and shit. I take fucking 15 tequila shots. Like fast. Oh. <laughs> I take a bunch of Mucinex tequila shots. I'm like, let's fucking go. Like, let's get it. We get to the fight. The timing was fucked. We walk in like the back and it was Tony Ferguson uh, oh, shit. against uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no Por- Poirier? Por- Poirier. Was it Poirier? Yeah, I think it, it was. It was Poirier. one yeah, of their yeah. retirement fights. It was a retirement fight. It was like a year ago. Yeah. Big fucking fight, right? Yeah. And so we get there and uh, it was the two old guys fighting each other. That was like the thing. We're like, or no, or, or no. It was whatever it was. It was really cool. Ferguson was fucking, was a beast. Like, um, but we walk in and Ferguson was walking out and we followed behind him out the tunnel. Oh shit. So maybe 30 seconds after he came out was when we got there was right at the main card, bro. I'm talking like I woke up, like packed my shit, got in the car, drove Fresh five and, and a half hours in traffic to Vegas, like feeling like shit. The medicine hit me. The tequila hit me all at the right time. I could breathe. I felt good. <laughs> it was back to bro, life. We get, so we get, we get, like, and, and all my roommates all know what happened. Bryce tweeted like, here's AP got arrested. I was like, fuck you. So like, I get there and like, my roommate got arrested. It was fucking, I was so fucking pissed. So I get there and the four of them are, are sitting, um, they're in like the fourth row, but floor yeah. next to the ring. And we have, there's two more tickets, right? And they're like, your seats are, are A2 and A3. And we're like, we're in the first row. Holy shit. And they weren't. It's Bryce's tickets. So we get there and we're in the first row. I'm next to Tommy Lee and his son. And we got like Mark Wahlberg. We've got Joe Rogan yeah. a little bit further down. I'm just like, and I'm looking back from row Yo, one to row four going, see. fuck you guys. <laughs> fuck you. Because yeah. they didn't give a fuck that I got arrested. Yeah, they yeah. said, fuck you, we're going to Vegas. Same shit. So, mad, so it was, it was, it was a crazy fucking 24 hours because like, you know, all that shit happened, but yeah. like we got to get there. We got the front row seats, yep. crazy fight. The fight it's was worth over. It. it was worth it at that It was point. totally worth it. But that was my only time getting arrested. But what sucked was TMZ posted an article saying, uh, QCP, like TikToker. Yeah, you got public, mad publicity. Like, like arrested on felony charges, which oh, was a lie. Jesus Christ. It wasn't yeah, true. I didn't get charged. Time. I didn't go to court. No, it didn't pass district attorney because yeah. it was a completely like innocent case. So I didn't have to hire lawyers or anything, Damn. which was fucked. So we had to deal with TMZ. They eventually took down the article or Fuck they changed the, they at least changed the title. 
But they, you know they're dicks. But um, TMZ is always giving out some fucking. That's bullshit. how it goes though. They gotta do. They gotta take what they can. And, I want to go into bread. the TMZ headquarters and like punch that guy that steps on the stool all the time. Oh, my manager says the same shit. That all dude the time. pisses. His face just bothers me. Like, buddy, don't there's look a lot, at me like there's that. There's a lot of TV. people that need to get punched in the fucking oh, face. Oh yeah. yeah. I didn't think yeah. I needed to get punched in the face. I'm sure some people want to punch me in the face, but not a lot of people say like I want to punch you in the fucking face because like I don't try to get punch in the face yeah a lot of people try to get punched in the fucking face yeah it's just like a it's like a, a friendly gesture you know like i feel like even just being from new york like i don't you don't say hi to someone you just punch Suck. them right in the face like that's yeah. my good morning to you hell yeah but fuck my man that was that is a lot of shit that you got going on in that's your life crazy, that's pretty man. dope do you have do you have like what do you have like a website or anything that you want to fucking like pastabits.com or some shit that you sell your merch or whatnot no, I just you selling any merch? Betch dot shop. Betch dot shop. All I, that's all I got. I want to show your you aprons on betch dot shop dot com. I want to sure show you because I'm sure you'd want to insert yeah. my face after I got punched in the back of the oh, head. Yeah, I will, but dude, I'll show you right now. Oh my Bro, God. we're putting that as the thumbnail. And we're gonna say that I I knocked you the fuck out. Yeah, whatever the fuck you got to do to get them clicks. You know That'd what I'm saying? That'd be lit, fucking tits. I gotta see this shit. Was your face all mangled up? Um, I, I couldn't work for a week and a half because I looked fucked. I looked like I had liver failure. Jesus Christ. And, um, and then I had a video with Paris Hilton. So then I was it literally the day that I filmed that video was the day that I looked somewhat normal enough to film, which was such a fucking blessing. I didn't have to remove it and get that shit canceled. Oh, it's gotta be right here. Yeah. 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 Uh, the glasses. Is- oh, you got rocked. So I got fucked in the nose. And- I love the shades. Uh, Okay, look at my ear, dude. Just look how look at the color. Oh of my ear. shit! Wow, I'm gonna went to war. Fuck yeah! You're disgusting. Well, make sure you guys follow Dipshit over here, guy with no fucking shirt on. You're gonna come after me for having me and having him on the couch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Naked. Suck my nuts. It's QCP on fucking all platforms. Uh, one thing I gotta tell you, you post a lot on Snapchat, and I see it a lot, and it annoys the fuck out of me. But it is what it is. Dude's gotta get his bag. Love yous all. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, remember, folks, if you can make a chick laugh and giggle, you can make that ass clap and jiggle. jiggle. That's hard Suck as fuck. Suck my dick and roll out, bitch. Fuck you. Yep.